Good evening to Principal Mrs. Carney, Mr. Lynch, and Mr. McCall, other distinguished guests, staff, families, and students. It's a great honor to be the recipient of the 2016 Principal's Award for Excellence. I wish I were in Brisbane this evening with all of you. I miss Brisbane, especially now that the purple jacarandas are in bloom. I attended Somerville House in the late 80s after arriving to Australia from the United States, and I remember it took me about all of a day to make my lifelong friends. I still keep in regular contact with many of my classmates and have a network of sisters around the world. I have many fond memories of my time at Somerville House and the brilliant teachers that prepared me for life beyond high school. My favorite teachers were Miss Jamison and Miss Davenport. They instilled in me a love of English literature, poetry, and history. I was in Gilmore House and adored being in Corral. I kept on singing after Somerville and am proud to announce that I was a judge on Mongolia's Universe Best Songs competition and I even learned to sing in Mongolian. Life after Somerville was such a dramatic change. Straight into law school, my first job, a career, overseas travel and eventually to my life in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Somerville House sets foundations for resilient, empowered and capable young women who strive to make a lasting difference in their chosen fields. Somerville House set strong foundations for me, and I'm forever grateful and very lucky. My own daughter, Annabelle, will be starting at Somerville House in the next few years as a boarder. We talk about it all the time, and she's incredibly excited. I want her to have the best education, but I also want her to be part of the Somerville community. I want her to make the kinds of friends that I did, worldwide sisters. Somerville House will open amazing doors for her, but I, I hope one day she winds up back in Mongolia, but who knows? A quick rundown on me. Since arriving in Mongolia, I've been the editor of the UB Post, taught English to members of the Mongolian police force, written some controversial stories that were feature articles in numerous publications. I was also the first foreigner to interview the last chairman of parliament. My story on him was published on the Mongolian parliamentary website, I also created, produced, and presented a very popular TV show on Mongolia's star network called Talk With Me. I've also been involved with numerous NGOs. I'm most passionate, though, about one called Lantun Dokhyo. They help to inform people, particularly Mongolian youth, about crime, violence, and human trafficking prevention. Every Christmas, they deliver coal, food, and clothing to the most vulnerable members of Ulaanbaatar's community, the children in the Ger district. I cannot possibly explain to you what minus 40 degrees feels like without coal in your fire and without food in your belly. It's deathly cold and the air is thick with toxic fumes. Ulaanbaatar's winters are the most polluted in the world. I'd encourage all of my Somerville friends to read as much about Mongolia as you can, about its history and about the social and political issues we face here. Don't forget, however, this country's breathtaking beauty, culture and unique traditions. Things are tough here at times, but I wouldn't live anywhere else in the world. It's a spectacular place to visit, full of the most hospitable, welcoming people I've ever met. So I hope to see old and new Somerville friends here one day. If you can manage the long flight up north, be sure to get in touch with me. Good night all, and I hope you enjoy your evening. And thank you again for this amazing honor. Sahram Rade.